Well, the heart-rending story of a family in Nalamangla will leave you in tears. The family is hoping for a miracle to save them from dire consequences. Take a look at this boy. Look at the boy's parents. Helpless, all they can do is curse their fate. The boy you are looking at is 17-year-old Hemant Kumar. He was born with a mysterious medical condition which left him in this state. His parents have taken him to numerous doctors, but none have been able to identify the problem and suggest a cure. His parents, though distraught, refuse to give up. Though many have suggested that the boy be left in an orphanage, the love for their son doesn't allow them to do so. Hmm. The boy's father was the only earning member in the family, but now they are left absolutely helpless after he suffered a heart attack. With him being bedridden, the mother has no idea how she is going to earn enough to support the family and take care of their medical expenses. Nagaratnama's first priority is to repay the loans and then earn enough to make ends meet. Another major concern for her is her second son. She has to plan his future too. Looking at the family's plight, Heyman's father Krishnamurti says that he is ready to take up any job. But unfortunately, none are ready to offer him a job. Though many have come forward to help the family financially, more money is always welcome since they don't have a fixed source of income. Those wanting to help the family financially can send their contributions to Account Holder Nagaratna Bank in Branch SBI Nelamangala Account Number 2013838691 with debts mounting and the family not finding any source of income, the family just hopes that they come across some miracle. Aditya K for News 9. Now, have you ever tried to report an auto driver for charging extra fare? And have you ever been physically abused or harassed for doing so? Now, one girl went through this horrific ordeal when she tried reporting an auto driver demanding extra fare. And the incident has left her in a state of shock. June 24th, 9.30 p.m., Nanjapa Circle, Langford Town. A girl goes through a harrowing experience with an auto driver after she refuses to pay an extra amount asked by him. What exactly happened that night? To find all that out, I'm standing in the exact same spot the girl went through that ordeal and with the same person. Now, for security purposes, we're calling her Devi and changed her name. I have with me Devi herself. Devi, we always know that Bengaluru has become unsafe for women, but take us through what happened that night and how you were shocked and petrified with the attitude and behavior of the auto driver. Right, so at around 9.30, I left my house with my friends to take an auto from here to Garuda Mall. Now, from here to Garuda Mall, it's about two kilometers away, and the auto driver asked me for 150 rupees. Of course, I refused to pay him, and like I usually do, I took down his number uh, using a photograph and intended to give that number to police officers later. He saw me taking the number down and that's when a, a flip switched in his mind. He started threatening me. While I was turning to walk away, he started following me, grabbing my arm, grabbing my shoulder, forcing me to delete that photo off of my phone. He was scared that I would report it to the traffic police and so he got extremely aggressive with me. Um, when I tried to take an auto out of there, he got into the same auto, threatened to the auto driver, you know, in case he drove and started taking photographs of me. He took about 15 photographs of me and told me that now he knows what I look like. Um, after that, I had, I mean, this, all of this lasted for 15 minutes and around 15 people were around looking at this and doing nothing. Um, after a while, a union rep, an auto union rep came and he held that man down until we could walk a little farther and take another auto from there. Thereafter, I called up the police number 100 and they asked me to report the number to the traffic police of, that, of this area. After I did that, the traffic police asked me to file an FIR in the police station, which is the Ashok Nagar police station. When I went there, I was not taken seriously initially. Uh, I was told not to file a complaint or an FIR so that, I mean, they threatened me. They told me if I file an FIR, the auto union will come after me. Now it's the duty of the police to ensure that something like this doesn't happen. And we all know as Bangaloreans that 
autos are not safe for women to take and not safe for anyone to take because of the harassment that passengers have to face. And as a woman in Bangalore, I expected a lot more from this city, especially with all the money and resources that is going into the safety of women, especially during public, for public transportation. Now, it happened exactly in this spot here. You're seeing this is the Nanjapa Circle. And this is the Langport Town Road. It's a bustling place, 9.30 p.m. There are people walking here. Uh, uh, traffic, is plen plenty of traffic here in this particular street. So there's no dearth of people on this road in this particular time, 9.30 p.m. Anybody staying in Chandinagar would know it's a bustling place. People would have witnessed what happened on this road. Forget about people who are traveling on the road. Let's, let's find out if this particular, there's, there's a lot of shops over here. There's one medical shop here. Was the medical shop open? I doubt the medical shop was open, but I'm pretty sure these two shops were open okay. right behind. So the medical shop here was closed, but these two shops were open. Let's find out from these two people if they saw anything that night. Sir, two... Air, air, this is Hindi, 24, 24 June, 930. Umba Ture Ratri. Illuan Hurigina, auto driver, it could do Chadasi, the photos are there, Nordra, Nordra, huh? In Nordra, this is Badia, Badia, and Kerdra, Agalantia, Skodantia, Nore, the Penny, and Nore, the Pagodalanta, Arthur, the Murda, the number of the photo delay. so as you can see, this man clearly narrates the incident of how Devi narrated to us. And he says the same things Devi is saying, but yet he says, I had some other work, I could not help. He also said there are people around this place and still Nobody made an effort to go and stop the auto driver or question him about how he can touch a girl simply because she took a photograph of his number plate in the auto, in fact. There are places where the police have mentioned or every auto driver would write that you have to report any auto driver asking for extra fare and that's what this girl did. She followed what the law says and the law is not helping her anymore. Let's find out from some more people who watched this incident as to what they actually saw. Uh, see, like they got on from the auto and he was harassing him. Photograph and all the whole group gathered and they were threatening you. In fact, they have to run, I think so. Okay, they were running. Yeah, they were running, yeah, because they are new. They are not from here. So, till I got down uh, from the bike, uh, they had moved out from here, actually. Okay. Okay. They had moved out from here. What did the auto driver do? Did he touch the girl? Huh? Did he touch the girl? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. He touched the girl. He took photographs of her? Yeah, yeah. And uh, nobody around the plate did anything to help the girl? No, 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 no. In fact, I wanted to do, I was in uh, some emergency which I couldn't do. Okay. Uh, so I felt that, let me come and voice it out. Let me see who is that auto driver. Let him come to me. Plenty of people around this incident, this spot, people witnessing this girl being harassed by this auto driver, being touched, being clicked by his phone, and yet no response from the public. And after the incident, even the police mocking this girl, claiming that this girl doesn't know Canada and making her run around in different rooms just to file a complaint. Even an FIR has not been filed. This is the state of the security for women in Bengaluru, where even passerbys, where even the police are failing to act upon the situations like these. When will Bengaluru wake up? When will the police wake up? When will people be aware that women need to be respected and not harassed in public? Only time can tell. Camera person Raghu. This is Vivek Vinayak for News 9, Bengaluru. Now, have you, your family or friends been a victim of Gundagiri by Bengaluru's auto drivers? You can tell us your auto horror story. Call or SMSs on 99809 And also watch the victim narrate her story live and interact with her at 6 this evening. Moving on, the local Ta raided corrupt officials in Gulbarga early this morning. The raids are underway at seven different locations in the district. Now, Afzalpur Panchayat AEE, Sharna Basapa's residence has been Doctor. raided. Now, furthermore, we are also told that KHB Superintendent Shiva Putrapa's residence has also been raided. Doctor. And there you can see our local class salutes 
and they don't inform the people that they're coming there to raid. It's a surprise raid. It starts quite early in the morning and can go on till the very next day. Now, the local actor sleuths will be there till they get all sorts of documents, whatever is needed. Uh, based on a uh, tip off, or tip, uh, the local actor sleuths have actually uh, gone ahead with this particular raid. We are told that the raids were headed by local actor SP Chippar. A Belgavi Mahanagara Palike junior engineer, Irshad Ahmed's house and office were also raided. Shahapur town panchayat junior engineer, Bashtandra Sharma's house has been raided. Hubli Darwad uh, urban development authority manager, Parmeshwarappa and his daughter's houses have been raided in Hubli. Mysore Sandal Soap Factory, MD, Keshava Murthy's house has been raided in Sanjay Nagar right here in the city. No, doctor, no. Well, in fact, uh, Lokakta Sloots have uh, raided corrupt officials in Gulbarga early this morning. The raids are underway at seven different locations in the district. Now, Afzalpur Panchayat AEE, Sharana Basapa's residence has been raided. KHP Superintendent Shiva Putrapa's residence has also been raided. The raids were headed by Lokakta SP Chipper. Belgavi, Mahanagra Palike, junior engineer, Ishad Ahmed's house and office was also raided. Shahapur town, Panchayat junior engineer, Bash Chandra Sharma's house has been raided in Yadgir. Hubli Darwad, urban development authority manager, Parmeshwar Appa and his daughter's houses were raided in Hubli. In Mysore Sandal Soap Factory, MD, Keshava Murthy's house has been raided right here in the city in Sanjay Nagar. <laughs> 